Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering some jump spots and flanks that you can pull off across the map in Verdance that are going to help you outsmart, outmaneuver, and end up getting a ton more kills if you can pull these off. Now this is going to be the first video in a series of multiple videos I'm going to do. I have a ton more jump spots to show you. So if you like this video or learned something new, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Getting the footage for these videos can be very difficult because I'm having to do it in Plunder and there's people all over the place trying to kill me while I'm trying to put together the videos to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now whenever we get a new map, I promise you that I'm going to be one of the first people exploring new jump spots on that map. So hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on that content. I'm also giving away a free game and headset right now. All you have to do is check the description below and join the discord so that you can enter to win the game and headset. Now the first spot we're going to cover is at this red cafe that's scattered across the map. If there's an open umbrella outside, then that means you can get upstairs without going through that one single choke point. You just have to jump on the open umbrella, jump on the closed one, and then you can get on the ledge and pull off a nasty flank on people inside. Now these next spots are going to be in that little circle area of houses that are over by the hills. And you see these walls that are by the houses? If you jump up on these walls and get on the little ledges, you can hop up on almost every roof here. And it allows you to see across almost this whole area. Now not just that. If you jump on those walls and get on some of these roofs, it'll allow you to see inside areas that people are often camped. So as you see this house right here, people are often camped upstairs in this one. You can hop up on the wall, jump on the roof, and be able to pick people off that are sitting up here and camping. Now as you'll see in this next house, it's not quite as easy to do this one, but you can hop up on this house and any one of these houses that have the little ledge right there, you just back off the roof. And then you could see in this window and get in and pull off a nasty flank on people that are camping upstairs. Now we've moved to the little area of houses that is right by the little circle building. And in this one, it has a tall house that's often camped. And you can actually get on this roof by jumping on the wall, jumping on this house, and then jumping on the big building. Now people are sometimes up here on this roof to our right, and this will give you a great flank and great line of sight on them. And from this tall roof, you can actually jump on this building if you need to to finish an enemy off. Now we're going to move to the area of the cluster of houses by stadium and in this one again you can hop off the wall and pull off a nasty flank on people that are camping upstairs in this house. Now not just that, this one's simple, but right here in this house you can go and again jump on the umbrella and you can actually hop in this window and pull off a flank on people that are camping upstairs in this one. Now we're going to move to the armory, and this is often camped up here in this room to the right. So rather than going in, you can actually go out this window, jump in the other one, and pull off a flank from behind the enemies that are camping there. And another way to get in is to go to the building right next door and jump off this roof. There's actually a little AC unit that you can jump on, and then be able to jump into the window from the side and pull off quite a nasty flank. Now all the armories aren't the same, but as you're going to see this is a different one, but it still has that same window unit and you can still get into the side window by jumping out the side, then hopping into that window and pulling off the flank that way as well. Now what if you are the person that's actually in the room and not trying to kill the people that are in it? There's actually a little ledge right outside this window that you can move along. So if somebody's pushing into this door and you get on this ledge, there's no way that they're going to come in and look on the ledge before they look in the room. So you'll be able to get plenty of shots off on them before they can get you. Now I'm only giving you a few jump spots at a time, so what I would advise you do is to jump in a plunder and practice these so that you can get comfortable doing them. Some of them are very simple, some of them are a little more skilled to be able to pull off, but they're really not that hard once you get used to doing them. So jump in a plunder and practice just a little bit, and I promise you that it's going to lead to you getting a lot more kills. That'll do it for today's video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss the rest of the series of the jump spots. Also, click the Discord link in the description below to enter for a chance to win a game and headset. As always, thanks for watching. Hold that tiger gaming.